Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will revise the laws for multiplying and dividing exponents. We will use these laws to simplify exponential expressions. It is important to understand the laws rather than learn them off by heart. It will make them far easier to remember. Before we move on, let's quickly look at the parts of a power. In this example, 2 to the power of 10 is called a power. The 2 and the 10 also have names. 2 is called the base and 10 is the exponent. It's important to know this terminology so that we can better explain the laws of exponents. Remember that whenever the word power is used, it implies that we are talking about a number that has a base and an exponent. The law for multiplication of powers states, when multiplying two or more bases with the same value, we add the exponents together. So for positive base x and for integer exponents m and n, we have the general rule x to the power of m multiplied by x to the power of n is equal to x to the power of m plus n. Do you notice that the base has stayed the same value and only the exponents have been added? Now let's join Dumsani as he uses this law in some examples. Simplify x to the power 4 times y to the power 4 times x to the power 6 times y to the power 8. I'm sure you can do this very quickly. All we need to do is add the exponents with the same basis. Let's see. We have x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 6. So we add 4 plus 6. y to the power of 4 and y to the power of 8. So we add 4 plus 8. That will give us x to the power of 10, y to the power of 12. Now, how about simplifying this one? x to the power of a multiplied by x to the power of b multiplied by x to the power of c. The bases are all x, so we add the exponents. Let's put down the base x. Now, what is the exponent going to be? Is it a, b, c? No, you can't multiply the exponents. Be careful. You must add the a, the, a, the b, and the c. So in this case, it will be a plus b plus c. Now that we've revised how to multiply powers that have the same bases, let's look at the law for dividing powers. When we divide powers with the same base, we subtract the exponents. So for positive base x and for integer exponents m and n, we have the general rule. x to the power of n divided by x to the power of n is equal to x to the power of m minus n. Once again, the base stays the same but the exponents have been subtracted. Now we can combine the laws for multiplying and dividing powers to help us simplify exponential expressions. Let's look at this example with variables. In this example we have x to the power of a divided by x to the power of b multiplied by x to the power of c. Can we write this example as a power of x? Remember the laws? When you multiply powers of the same base, you can add the exponents. When you divide powers of the same base, we can subtract the exponents. Okay, the bases are the same. So let us put down the base x. Are you ready to write the exponents? Look carefully where the multiplication and the division signs are. They will tell you when to add and when to subtract. So, the first one, we give an x to the power of a, we dividing by x to the power of b. Remember what Lloyd says, if you're dividing, that means we can subtract. And the last one, we're multiplying with x to the power of c, that means we can add our 
exponent c. We will need to practice this, so let's do a few more examples. Write this number, a to the power 24, a to the power of 12, and a to the power 2 divided by a to the power 15, a, as a power of a. Note, if we don't write multiplication signs, it still means multiply. First of all, are the bases all the same, namely a? Yes, so we can use the laws of exponents. Let's see. We can apply our first law there. a to the power of 24 multiplied by a to the power of 12 times a to the power of 2. First law says if you're multiplying, we can add the exponents. Therefore, we'll have a to the power of 24 plus 12 plus 2. We'll do the same thing at the bottom. It will be a to the power of 15. If it's only a, that will be the same as a to the power of 1. So we add plus 1 there. That will give us a to the power of 38 divided by a to the power of 16. It's division now. Second law, that means we can subtract. It will be a to the power of 38 take away 16. That will be equals to a to the power of 22. Good. The laws make it easy for us to simplify expressions containing powers. Can you simplify this one? We have a power of a and a power of b. We're given a to the power of 13, b to the power of 13, divided by a to the power of 10, and b to the power of 11. Since this is division, that means we can subtract our exponents. But now we have to subtract the ones with the same basis, a and a, b and b. That will give us a to the power 13, take away 10, multiplied by b to the power 13, take away 11. That will give us a to the power of 3 times b to the power of 2. Let's see if we can do the next example using what we've learned so far. Simplify the expression 3, a to the power of 5, b to the power of 8, c to the power of 3 divided by 6, a to the power of 3, b to the power of 2. We start by writing 6 as a product of its prime factors. This means that 6 will be written as 2 times 3. We are able to cancel the 3's and leave 2 in the denominator. Now we can group together the like bases using the power laws. Remember when you divide with the same bases, you subtract the powers. So we get a to the power of 5 minus 3, b to the power of 8 minus 2, and the c keeps its power. Remember we leave the 2 in the denominator and only subtract powers with the same bases. The answer is a to the power 2, b to the power of 6, c to the power of 3, all divided by 2. Thank you for joining us. Remember to try the task video at the end of this section. You'll also be able to learn more about exponents on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.